Look, we didn't even get to explore the fun island or this amazing ship. See, I really have no idea what this ship is for. Do I dare? Do I dare make another mistake and clear something early and potentially fuck something up later? Of course! Of course I do dare! The dainty slow, knock knock! Oh, shit! <laughs>when we had last left the last dragonborn they were up by solitude way and had a meeting with jari ra a scrupulous sneaky dude who wanted to make a little bit of big time bucks yes that's right they had a plan and schemed to snuff out the light at a lighthouse and cause a shipwreck where they would loot all of it for its plunder and of course save every single person in the process but as it turned out whoa jari Ra was lying what <laughs> and instead it turned out that jari Ra and his sister Dij, dija were both associated with the terrible awful black blood marauders and they were up to no freaking good for you see upon the crash did they murder everybody <laughs> and take all their stuff anyway. Yes, as the Dragonborn arrived on the scene of the shipwreck, everybody was dead as hell. And now it was time to seek vengeance and get some booty of their own. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. There we go. Let's get on out of here as these uh, marauders are looking at me. There we are. <laughs> we have to head on back out to... Uh, the little fun grotto. Our grotto of fun. What can you do? I really want to sneak into that lighthouse, you know? <laughs> We've been in there twice. Oh, look. Oh, my God. What an incredible feat of archery. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we've been in there twice and have been scared off by the dude manning it, right? <laughs> Both uh, times. Uh, He's been like, hey, get out of here. I've been like, oh, okay, yes, sir. <laughs> One of these times we just need to go up in there and see what he's hiding. What are you even hiding, dude? You know what? That's something. <laughs> isn't, isn't that something? You know, we went up in there and put out his magical shit. But lo and behold... He wasn't up there for when we were actually causing, like, any real problems, right? <laughs> when we were actually... ...fucking with the lighthouse itself? Dude was just downstairs eating a lunch. What the hell? Look at this. Where's it wanting me to go? What the heck? Oh no. Did I break the game? Bring the mirror. That's for the... Shalador's insights. Well, this might be bad. <laughs> this might be bad. Okay, it's not being tracked. Find out where Jari Ra's bandits took the loot. Huh. <laughs> what will happen? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's activate our flame cloak up. Oh, we've already got active. There we are. Head on up and over here through all the chilly mistiness. There's like fish or something on the approach. Yep, looks like fish. Okay. So we should just be able to circle around the coast here. Just fine, right? There's some massive land in front of us as well. Oh, is it this? Is it the ice flows or whatever? Is Does that show up on the map? No, it's something else. Yeah, what is this? It's like some little hill. There's another ship here as well. Is that for later? You know what I'm saying? Is that for later? I don't know. Is there anything cool underwater in any area in Skyrim? There must be, right? Like, like I know about the the lake or whatever, the pond that's like a reference to like King Arthur's ship, right? The lady in the lake or whatever, the level scaled sword. I know of its existence, but I've completely forgotten where it's at. But is there anything like under the water in like the shores and all of that? I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of stuff around Solstheim, time, but is there any here in mainland Skyrim? I don't know. Huh. It's worth considering. And if that is the case, we're going to have one hell of a time trying to get to it. <laughs> right? We'll only have the period of our 
of whatever the- Oh shit! Oh no, the flame cloak has angered off the horkers in a major way. It's angered them off. There we go. Beat back the horker lords. Look, this one is like immune to my power. Somehow. There we go. I gotcha. Where's all of our friends at? Did they like... Are they still stuck in the cold or something? Look, sometimes these workers are a little... A little weird. A little wild. There we go. Look at that. We're gonna have maxed out destruction before we even swap to... The wizard's... Uh... Stone. <laughs> the wizard's stone. You know. Okay. Over here. Yeah, Karsho and Co. are, I guess, are just, like... Yeah, they're back there trudging it out. Messing with Slaughterfish. Okay. So sorry, Horkers. How does the Flame Cloak know not to, like... Kill innocent civilians inside of... Towns, but Horkers? Man, dude, magic just hates Horkers, I guess. What is this? Okay. Bring this up. Over here, and if we just keep along this way. Look, we didn't even get to explore the fun island or this amazing ship. See, I really have no idea what this ship is for. Do I dare? Do I dare make another mistake and clear something early and potentially fuck something up later? Of course! Of course I do dare! The dainty slow, knock knock. Like oh, shit! Oh! <laughs> okay, this is where pirates live! These are just Corsairs! Oh my gosh. Give me some of your RAM, please. There we go. Oh shit. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Let's see, how's everyone's health? We'll never know. Karjo's fine. Oh, from behind the barrel. Boom! Good. Look at our wizard lord, he's just fucking duking it out. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! Good job, team. Holy fuck. <laughs> the Black Blood Marauders. They're more fearsome in death than they were in life. Though I guess maybe that's the case with most most things, right? Everything's a little bit scarier if it comes back to life as a zombo. Alright. Let's see. Grab some wheat. Look, we can just take this stuff. I guess this is just like a bandito zone. Okay. Like, bunches of flour. Just chow down on it. Poop buckets out here. Lovely. It's the poop deck, you know? It's... that's what it is. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Forgive me, Mom! <laughs> Let's take all this. There we go. Eat some of these. There we are. Good. Okay. Oh, look! Some Scoom Scoom! Yo, is there any more out here? Oh look, there's some giant lichen. Dude, it is giant. Where'd you get that, from Morrowind or what? <laughs> there it is. And some leeks. Bunch more flour. I think it's just, nope, there are some more alchemical reagents around here. Honeycomb, very much worth it, right? Okay, and one more barrel filled with lavender. Okay, let's roll up in here. I checked the sack. Oh look, more scoom scoom! Alright, now we're ready. The dainty slowed. Stealth mode activate. Alright, there we go. Ooh, look at all this. Fur helmet, Chevelle. Look, it looks very nice up in here. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so well lit. We'll take this stuff and eat a carrot. Shut the fuck up, Tisha. I'm trying to hear his song. Dude, they're blasted. Okay. Let's take all this. Uh, let's take some glass. I guess we could use that later. Oh, so if you keep all your weapons inside your boots, you can't ever get disarmed. Look at that, that's a pro tip. Let's see. 
We're fine on food. So we'll just eat. We'll just eat all these veg. They got that secret magic. Yo, did you hear him? <laughs> they got that secret magic. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? All right. <laughs> Anytime anyone has, like, talks conspiratorially about just wizards in general. Gotta watch out for those wizards. They got that secret magic. <laughs> Fuck. Honestly, I'm tempted to get some of these Corsairs with us, you know? You prepared to die. Shazbot. There we go. Got him. Okay. What is this? Oh, okay, it's just a weird angle on the scimitar. Is it scimitar or scimitar? I think it's sim, right? The sea is, like, silent. But I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on anything, in fact. Just as a general rule of thumb, just assume that I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. This one <laughs> is probably the best way to proceed. <laughs> okay. There we go. Good. Salt pile. Look, a spigot. Do they use that for smoking skooma in some way? Do you, like, filter it through a spigot or whatever? <laughs> Take all your salt. There we are. Empty sack. Yo, everyone's singing. Oh, he's a lot more sing-songy with it. I like that. How did he not hear us in here just obliterating everybody? Maybe they thought that it was just a drunken brawl, you know? That's gotta be it. That's definitely it. <laughs> look at us making excuses for <laughs> for everybody. Oh look, you're actually wearing red guard boots. Huh. Okay. Are these pirates from like Hammerfell and shit? From out around there? There we go. They are singing about Stress Mackay. Let's see. Anything else? We got food. We got secret jumping. Tundra cotton. Lots of garlic. Belted tunic. Alright. Little crab. Okay. Pony kegs. What else have we got? Big old jugs, big barrels. That's what they're called. <laughs> Got mist rolling in down here. Oh shit, look. It's the secret dude. I'm gonna try and sneak up on him. Is someone there? Nope. Oh, it didn't work. Okay. Get him, Carjo. There we go. Look at Deja coming in, flying with the glass dagger. Ooh, shit. Sorry there, Deja. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we are. Dude was, like, moving all over the place. Okay. Let's see. Let's take your 50 Quatlus and be done with it. What else have we got down here? Anything cool? I don't know. All right. Some of these, large sack, green apples, yum yum. Okay. Anything else cool around here? Big barrels, pickaxes, little weird thing of water just peeing out. That's cool. Okay. Why do they just have chains down here? Huh. Oh, it's- they're for the people, right? Yeah, they're for their people cages. Fucked up. Be careful. Still, also, what was up with the... Because that was definitely an Imperial uh, Legion ship. What was up with the cages for people on that ship? Right? What the fuck was going on with that? Huh. 
Because by now, isn't slavery outlawed in every single province, right? Even by the time Oblivion rolls around, slavery is outlawed in all of Tamriel, right? I think so. I mean, like, I could still understand there being, like, illegal slave trade and shit like that. Definitely, I could see that, but... They were, like, public... Publicly, very publicly... Imperial Legion banner-flying ships. Or a ship, I should say. Okay. Over here. Oh, shit. Alright. Eh? Oh, shit. Okay. It's fine. We picked up like a million lockpicks. There we go. <laughs> oh, Daedric male boots. Ah. Uh, I guess I'll take it. Take the rest too. Get some picks in there. Let's turn the lights on. Shoo. Okay. Oh gosh, I'm getting a little stuck up in there. Oh gosh, Gordon's like going on a rampage. Look at Gordon! Oh! Wow! <laughs> oh. Gordon horny. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Let's take all this. Jesus. Gordon just like turned on the vibrator setting. <laughs> turned it up to 11. Okay. Over here. Go. Good. All right. Anything else around here? Please do not, though, put Gordon crabs or any kind of mud crab inside of your butt or vagina, or probably anywhere, unless it's cooked and in your mouth. Oh shit! First mate. This is like, you know what? Is this like a recurring theme? Us talking about banging crabs. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> there was a. I remember explicitly. There was a time in uh, <laughs> in Oblivion when we also talked about getting it on with mud crabs. What the hell? <laughs> All right, I'm a broken person. <laughs> Let's see over here. Oh shit! I can't look. Oh, there we go. And it's empty. What the heck? Death bell. Tundra cotton. Here we are. Cupboard filled with gold. Small sack filled with carrot. Okay, the captain's chest. <gasps> a flawless ruby and a hundo quatlus. Okay. Oh shit, you got a stone in here. A dance in fire, volume six. We've definitely read all of those in a past uh... life. Okay. Worker loaf. I guess I'll just chow down on it, right? Why not? That said, we don't really need to at the moment. Maybe we just hold off? Yeah, maybe we'll just hold on to it. Dude, this place is great! Okay, cool. Do you have anything amazing on you? Maybe I want this dude as, like, a friend. Should I kill this, like, Black Blood Marauder? I thought he would be, like, really amazing. Because he has wizard's magic available, but... In saying that, he's kind of like Garbo, right? He kind of just punches half the time. Which is not cool at all. Here we go. Oh shit. <laughs> hey, this works pretty well. Well, that answers our other question too, doesn't it? Boom. <laughs> there you go, you asshole. Okay. First mate. Here, let's put some cool shit on him, huh? That way he can go around with like some powerful stuff. Let's see, let's grab a few of these scimitars. Right. Get some like hide shit as well. Why not? Oh shit. Okay. You know what? It didn't work out that well. Let's see. Ooh, jeez. Can I still move with this? No. Okay. Scaled uh, horn. What is it? Oh shit! Sorry, Karsha. I'm trying to move the scaled horn armor. Alright, over this way. Good. We'll put this on him. There we are, first mate. Take your little dagger there. And then, take some of these, and... That. Cool. Alright. Let's see, should we drag him with us elsewhere as well? We can take him to one of the scimitar things. Right? I don't know. It's kinda uh... slow going. 
Let's see, what else can we take? Where's the scimitar at? I can't believe we've lost some. I want to get him to, like, dual-wield scimitars. Okay. Oh, jeez. I don't know where they've gone. Where's that axe? Surely you have one, yeah. Okay. But they're heavy as hell. Okay. Let's see, we'll take that. And then... We can... Drop it. There we are. Let's see... Yeah, you've only got a steel one. Okay, maybe we just take him outside? Does this dude still have one? No, that belonged to him. Okay. Oh, shit spot. There we go. Because they're very, um, particular about these pirates or corsairs having scimitars rather than having modeled in cutlasses or whatever. Right? Because cutlasses were very common for your pirating needs in Cyrodiil a few hundred years ago, at least. Okay. Scimitar, and hopefully this dude likes to use it. There you go. Okay. And then, let's begin our dark ritual. There we are. Okay, and... Dead Throng. Oops. Okay, right here, that should hit. Boom! Rise from your grave. Will he equip it? He will not. Maybe when he's in combat, he'll start using it. Okay. Sure. That's fine. Okay, let's change out our stuff here. Good. You know what? I'm feeling lucky about it. Okay. Let's head on out. I want him to have, like, a little pirate hat, though, you know? But, you know what? We, we can't all be winners here. Okay. Head on out, and then we'll finally get our ass over to the Broken War Grotto, I guess. Did he equip anything? No. Yeah, I was hoping, like, Zone Change might activate something deep within his soul. But no. Okay. Let's see. So we don't even have a quest tracker for this, but thankfully we've been here before. So we know where it's at. Roughly. Okay. Let's see. Let's also get our whirlwind sprint at the ready. There we go. Good. Alright. Up and around through here. Good, good, good. Look at this. It is a nice area, though, huh? I love it. Oh, look. Hey, this is... Oh. Oh, there's one gold piece here. Karsho, look at this. A secret treasure of Scroll of Mayhem. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh, I love these little lanterns. The little lantern posts. Especially around this area. They really fit with the vibe. Okay. Move around this way. I love how you can see all the glaciers out there in the distance. And you know what? You see those glaciers? That's right. You can go up to them. Well, can you go up to all of them? Like, is that one not out of bounds? Some of these I feel like you can't go to. Right? Like, surely that one over there is out of bounds. These, I think you can definitely get to. Oh, shit. Okay, we better get... <laughs> we better get going. Okay. There we are. Cool. Cool. You know what? The only surprising thing is about, um, the coasts here in Skyrim. There's no big, like, basalt columns or whatever they're called, right? You know what I'm talking about? The hexagonal columns? <laughs> Every fucking game loves doing them, huh? Shoutouts, by the way, to, uh, Jesus, what's his fucking name? Keith Ballard. Here on Yubtub. He has his little columnar joining watch group where he just like collects screenshots of those things in games and there are a shitload. <laughs> it's so amazing that there aren't any here in Skyrim. I guess maybe Skyrim came out before that really kicked uh, kicked up as a trend, right? 
I feel like Skyrim would have been right around, like if it did include it, it would have been one of the first games to begin doing it, right? I don't know. Not one of the first, but like right before the big shit ton of other ones, right? Right before it became like a massive trend. Because certainly it was in other games, I'm, I'm almost positive, but there is definitely no shortage of them now. Okay, look. Broken Ore Grotto is right here, but I'm too dumb to find it. Is this it? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> the lighting made it look like there was there was no like darkness that we were fading into. Okay, so our real question right now is, what the fuck will happen? <laughs> Find out where Jari Ra's bandits took the loot. It's here though, isn't it? Oh god, I'm quick saving. <laughs> We may have completely fucked this one up, and we may have to, like, use console commands to fix it. We'll see. Okay. Nonetheless, we're doing our due diligence. Oh shit, where'd Carjo go? We also need to be careful about losing Carjo in here, remember? Carjo and Gordon. Okay. Hey, check this out. This'll be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Carjo, did you like that? I want to do it now too, Carjo. Hang on, I want to do it too. Let's see. Carjo, can you do it? If anyone Will you do it for me? Us, I'll smell them coming. Let's see. Or I might not. I need you to do something. What Carjo, do I need, need you to like make me have a shitload of fun right now. Okay, where's the where's the split at? Oh, it's right here. Look, you can see. Okay. Carjo, activate lever. I'm ready, dude. It will be done. I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm is ready, I'm ready. Problem? What? Karjo, no! What is it? Activate lever. It will be done. Activate lever. Activate lever. Activate lever, Karjo! Yes, I'm ready! Woo! Okay. <laughs> Karjo, it looks way cooler than than it felt. That, that was like garbage, Karjo. I hated it. <laughs> Come on. I was expecting to... I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it needs to be an actual trap. Have, have some more force behind it. Okay. Karjo, you made it look so cool when it really just was not. I was so happy for you, Karjo, but little did I know. Oh, it's Jury! Oh, shit! He's here amidst all the carnage. Though I guess he cleaned up all the bodies, huh? <laughs> hey, dude. Guess what? You're not even gonna talk to us? Okay. <laughs> Get him, Karjo. Fuck him up. Look at Karjo go fucking laying down the combos and shit. Okay, there we go. Karjo's like got an adrenaline high still from, from flying off the bridge. There we are. See, I want, in the future, I want more like cool physics interactions and stuff. Why not, you know? Because that's kind of a unique feature of, uh, of Bethesda's engine here, right? There we go! Completed! Lights out! Because how many games, you know, are like this first-person uh, situation and all that? But, you know, you can't fuck with all the stuff everywhere, right? Like, this would all be static, right? Or at the very least, you wouldn't be able to manually pick it up and throw it around, right? That's kind of like a unique and cool thing about their creation engine. That and the fact that, you know, it's supposedly like super welcoming for people to mod. Right. And just create assets for it. Yo, where does Bod go? I got too busy looking at stuff. There we go. An amethyst. Gold. Mead. Some jewelry. And a pick. I'll take it. He didn't even get to see Undead Deja. What the fuck? What a disappointment. <laughs> well, at the very least, you know what? It was disappointing in a way. Not just the battle with Jari Ra, but also the the bridge situation. But at the very least, you know what? It was not disappointing to be able to actually complete the quest. <laughs> I had some concerns. I had a few concerns. Oh, look, this repopulated. Hargar's journal. Either, oh, maybe it didn't repopulate, but it just got blasted around. 
so I couldn't see it the first time through. Either that or I just completely went over it. One of the two. <laughs> Who can say which? Okay. Yeah, I came back here thinking we may as well rest up until daylight, but hey. Look, we also found a little bit of lore. Charcoal and arrows. Some honey nut treat. Dude, I would love to eat a honey nut treat in real life. Even if it looks like that. Like, I want to see what the high-res texture of the honey nut treat is. Because it looks great. Look at that glass greatsword. Karjo, do you want that? If anyone sneaks up on us, I'll smell them coming. Or should I be able not. to still hold it. We will see. Kajit will follow. There you go, Karjo. Is that all? Okay. Pretty sure he has room. Because I don't want to, like, overcap him. With the little exploit or whatever. Okay, you know what? Hargar's journal. Let's read it. This is from the dude who was in here before Jari Ra and Deja. Or Jari Ra, I should say. Eighth of Evening Star, Fourth Era, 200. Or no, wait, he was a Nord, wasn't he? Actually, I don't remember. He has a Nord like name, but I don't know for sure. Yeah, I don't know. Jari Ra is up to something big. He wouldn't tell me exactly. All he said was. It'll be just like the good old days, before the cave-in sealed your boats in there. We can't send our ships out of here anymore. What is... what is he hinting at? We can't send our ships out of here anymore. What is he hinting at? 14th of Evening Star, 4th Era, 200. It's so funny that they've... <laughs> Who screwed them so badly? What a twist of fate for them, right? They used to be like this pirating band of pretty good size, right? They had several ships in their little, like, piratey fleet. And then all of a sudden, a freak accident with the cave-in, and now, like, all their ships are trapped inside, and they can't do anything about it for, it seems like, a really long time, the way he's saying it'll be like the good old days. They, they just decide, well, I guess we're, we're retiring now. All the ships got trapped in the grotto. We're just chilling here now. We just live here. Anyway. He wants to know what loot we have saved up. I don't care what he says. I'm not telling him anything about my stash. It stays down there where it's safe. Oh, should we check that? Do you think it repopulated again? I can't imagine he'd ever jump in this murky water, let alone swim down to the sunken boat. 21st of Evening Star, 4th Era, 200. It's on. Jari Ra and his sister Deja have something cooked up. All they need is a scapegoat. I wonder where they'll find someone dumb enough to do what they say. <laughs> There's bound to be someone out there who will. It was me! I'm the idiot! I'm the dumbest man alive! <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Over here. Take all this. Alright. You motherfucker. I might be dumb as shit, but guess what? I'm still alive. Woo! <laughs> Alright. Let's look down here. Oh, look. A little secret drop-off point. No, okay. It's it's really not. <laughs> down here. Oh, look at this. The waterlogged chest filled with glass sword. We're not even taking it. Oh. It's the captain. He's still here. He's the only body remaining, I think. Neat. Okay. Well, let's get up and out. Can I make this? I don't think I can. Wow! Okay. Amazing. Whoop! <laughs> Was that- did Karjo make a noise when I did that? <laughs> okay. Okay, let's get out of here. I feel like maybe one of the problems why they wouldn't want to have more fun physics interactions like this in their game- OH SHIT! <laughs> That was the first mate! Alright, now that was good. That was good, wasn't it? Fuck me. <laughs> but, uh, one of the reasons why they might not want more physics interactions like that is because of similar things to what we just saw. Is, like, it being more vectors for the game to bug the fuck out. But if I'm being honest, that's exactly why I want them. <laughs> that is what I want, though. <laughs> Just still let me quick save in case I'm the one who gets stuck or allow me to have like Toggle no clip on still allow me access to console commands in case it fucks me up But I want it to fucking break. That's the secret. 
I want it to break. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. There we go. To Skyrim. Oh shit, you know what? I didn't rest. Oh gosh, I really am the dumbest man alive. <laughs> Oh god. Okay, look, I was having too much fun over here with all this weird shit. Good lord, and the sleepy time machine isn't even that close. You know what? Fuck it. F it, F it, F it. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. You know what? It's fine. We have our motley crew here. Karsha just decided to take the shortcut. I don't know why he decided to do that, but he did. He did. Karjo just... <laughs> Making a display of his own prowess. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Look, yeah, no one else followed us, but it's fine. The important person followed us. That's right, Karjo, I'm talking about you. You're the VIP here. Love you, dude. Alright. Let's get on up and out of here. Make sure we have our whirlwind sprint. See, if anything, maybe we can... <gasps> maybe we can sneak into the lighthouse. And rest in there, or look around at least. Oh, I'm excited now. Yeah, because it's it's the middle of the night. And we, we're not usually traveling around here in the middle of the night. Because, you know, it's so cold. Okay. I want to see what's up there. What is that man hiding? Why is he so concerned with keeping the interior of the lighthouse on lockdown? When, in reality... He should really be worried about the actual function of the lighthouse. <laughs> Could you imagine that? He's down here snoozing or eating brunch or whatever, snacking on some honey nut treat. This dude like wakes up and Matt thinks hasn't checked on the fire in weeks. He's just set up a big bonfire. He knows it'll go for a long time. It's got like magic shit all over it, but he's just assuming it's still going. All of a sudden he hears in the distance. Maybe he's got like uh, extra good hearing thanks to being his, like, Khajiiti cat ears or something. He hears in the distance, like, all the people on the ship screaming this terrible croaking, groaning wood as it's just ripping apart. They're all just like, Aah! in the distance. He's just, he just pokes his head out. He's like, whoops. Stray keeps eating the honey nut treat. <laughs> or he just runs. He runs off. <laughs> <laughs> he leaves some some clothes there. He, he writes a journal like he died, right? Like like he adds some environmental storytelling as if he died. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the seventeenth uh, uh, of sun's dawn or whatever the fuck. <laughs> he writes in there. <laughs> He's like, I think today may be my last. I've angered those bandits. They'll be here any second. Oh, <laughs> or necromancers or whatever to explain why there's no body. <laughs> Gosh, the perfect alibi. Just leave journals everywhere if you need to disappear. Faking your own death. Oh my god. What a genius. Look at that. He's still there eating. Maybe he doesn't even know that they're fucking dead. Oh god, look at all this shit. Dude's got iron ingots for days. Oh god, Karjo. You're not supposed to be in here. I know, Karsha. Get out of here. What? He can see. This is the last time I'll say it. Ooh. Get out. Mazaka. Okay, I'm getting out. I'm getting out. How did he know? And why did Karsha decide to rat me out? You are taking us somewhere warm. All right. I will show you some of your burden. There you go. Take all this iron and shit that I stole. Actually, we should hold on to the ore. We can be crafting that, right? Yeah, here, take all these. There we go. Good. Okay. And then... we Let's see. Alteration, and let's get some transmutes going. You know, we may as well bind that right there, right? Why not? Go there. Okay. Oh, look, we can eat our horker loaf. Yum. Okay. Good. Look at this. This is efficiency. That's what this is. I have no idea where our undead thralls are at. They're just out there. Maybe they died? Did they die? Maybe they got consumed by the grotto, right? Remember? The black hole grotto effect or whatever? Maybe that's what happened to them. Okay. Well, nonetheless, we can rest here. 
at the dainty slowed. The perfect little rest stop along our coastal journeys. Okay. Oh, did they show up? No, that was just Karjo unsheathing his weapon. Alright. And there should be a bed nearby. Right? I think. Yeah, here we go. Good. Love it. Okay, let's go for... Boo. 10? No, let's go for 9 hours. It'll be 8 a.m. ish. That's good. We don't even need to turn this quest into to anyone, right? No one will know a thing. Except for the massive shipwreck and everything. Do you, do we- are we going to hear, like, uh, ambient dialogue about the shipwreck? <laughs> yeah, that would be fucking great, honestly. I'm here for it. I'm so fucking here for it. <laughs> <laughs> they blame it on poor Mazaka or whatever his name is. Good lord, he gets fired or some shit. Jesus. I'm assuming he works for Solitude or like the Empire or something out here. Whoever runs the lighthouse. There we go. Like, yeah, it must be like the East Empire Company, huh? That runs the lighthouse since this is like their harbor. Right? I don't know. You'd have to assume. He's just a freelance lighthouse watcher or whatever. He, he built the lighthouse and just erected it and was just like, All right, I'll run this lighthouse, but you gotta pay me. Whenever you go by in your ship, just, you know, throw a sack of gold out at the lighthouse. <laughs> it's like a, like a bridge toll or something. Highway toll. What the hell. There we go. Good. <laughs> That's why they, they got in the wreck. As it was happening, they thought, No, we must have forgot to pay the toll! He put out the light! <laughs> Fucking hey. Alright, over here. This is why, if you're shipping cargo around in a boat, you need a wizard, right? Jeez, imagine if you just had a couple wizards with you on the boat. Would you ever really even need to worry about shipwrecks and all that? You could just shoot out, like, mage light or whatever, or candlelight. Whichever is the one that sticks to surfaces. And then you could see perfectly fine, right? Jeez and Pete. Or even just like, have some kind of hot air balloon situation. And you can, oh no, I'm, I'm all out of transmutable ore. But um, you, you could use the heat from like a, a wizard's fire to propel the ship f further and or faster. Oh, look at that. See, wizards just open up too many possibilities, right? There's just too much that's possible. They make a real complicated situation. <laughs> the, uh, the existence of magic. Okay, let's head on up here. Let's see, what should we tend to next? We should probably hit up this Rogvir bullshit, right? With the execution. Hmm. Do I even have... <laughs> Like, the problem is, is like, where the fuck is it here? <laughs> hmm. Oh dear. Huh. Obtain ore sample from Filnyar. An ingot. Oh, don't we have a... Also up here in Solitude, don't we also have something to do with... With the Thieves' Guild? No, that's in Markarth. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Let's head on up here. Man, I almost forgot as well that we have the business with Septimus still. We should maybe just talk around town and try and figure something out. You should Let's be see. more careful with your spell casting. I know, I know. This one thinks you should be this more one careful. thinks you should okay. be more careful with your spells. Okay, okay, jeez. Take it easy, everybody. Take a look. <laughs> Jeez, everybody's just like fucking reaming me here. What the hell? Come on. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Over here, let's get some of your... Huh. Some iron ore. That seems ideal. And what's our carry weight at? We could pick up some ebony. Here we are. Should we also get some enchantables? Maybe? Or some outcount? No, wait, because it's all the special stuff. Maybe that'll do, right? Maybe that'll do. Yeah. Okay. And then let's pawn off some of our weird potions. Right, we have so many to get rid of. Including just, like, stam potions, which are... As far as I'm concerned, beyond the early game, 
they're just there to sell off, right? Here's a question. Anybody play Skyrim and continue to use stamp potions as you go on through the game? I don't I don't know. I don't think I've ever heard of anyone doing such a thing. You always sure you use them in the early game when you need extra stamp for like power attacks or blocking and stuff, but beyond that point, that's just vendor fodder. Okay. Anything else here before we move into our more expensive stuff? Look, that restores health. Hmm. There we go. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Hmm. This? It's got a nice effect on it, but I'm gonna get rid of it. We'll take a loss here. There we are. Neat. Okay. Head on up this way. Good lord. We must have like a bazillion potions. Oh, wait. Oh, it's you all for the wedding and stuff, right? Wait. You too? That spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. That spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. What, my, my transmutation? That spell looks dangerous. Huh. Let's see. Are people wigging out right now? Keep your distance. That spell looks dangerous. Here, let's do Keep a quick distance. save and a quick load. There we go. That may fix it. That spell looks dangerous. Nope, we're just a dangerous Keep guy. We're just dangerous as shit. Fair enough. You know what? They aren't wrong. Let's see. Okay. Going over here. All right. Yeah, who should we speak with about the Rogvir situation, right? That spell looks like it'll hurt. Oh no, everyone is concerned about my spells. Please stay away while you got that spell on you. Oh, is it because of the time. thralls? Be on your guard out there. Oh, it must be because of the thralls. Keep the cold at bay with our spells. Right? That spell looks like it'll hurt. Because they're, they're treating them as still being active, even though they're, like, stuck inside of the fucking grotto, huh? Oh, shit. Okay. Which means the next time we find people who are dead... Oh, wait, can we resurrect this guy? Is his body still... No, okay. <laughs> no, you know what? That probably really would have broken the game. <laughs> okay, let's see. Noster, did you have Don't anything to me. say? No, I'm not gonna it's hurt you. I'm sorry. Radiant uh, Raiment. Head on in here. Okay. Hey, what's up with you? You really should be more careful with the spells you cast. Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> Let's just pretend like we heard what she said the first time through. Do you always insult people when you meet them? It's not an insult, just an observation. If I were walking around with a wound, I would want you to tell me to see a doctor. Your outfit is something of an open wound, where a tire is concerned. Yeah, doesn't she say something like, Oh my god, you look like trash shit. What's wrong with my outfit? Nothing at all. It's very nice. <laughs> if you want something with a little more style, however, you should see what we have available. Uh, what should I wear to the Blue Palace? You're really going to the Blue Palace. That presents an opportunity. If you are willing to wear one of Radiant Raymond's outfits and speak to the Jarl, I would not only pay you, but let you keep the outfit. Oh. Well, that sounds easy enough. I'll do it. <laughs> She's like, also this radiant raiment, especially, it sucks your blood dry <laughs> while you have it equipped. <laughs> I, I, I was inspired by a cursed ring I found several hundred years ago. <laughs> All right, sounds easy enough. I'll do it. Good. Here's the outfit. Try to get Elisif's opinion on it, and if she likes it, mention it's from radiant raiment. Okay. Maybe we show up there and she's like, oh my god, Thank it looks you like for ass. Your patronage. Okay. In you really should be more careful with the spells you cast. I know. My thralls aren't even around. <laughs> They're gone. Let's see. Have a, having a bad day? You'd think so, wouldn't you? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Do you get a lot of business like that? It's never like been what? an issue. People say you helped with the problems at Wolf Skull Cave. I applaud anyone who assists the court. What did I do at Wolf Skull Cave? Look, it lit up again. Oh, we do all right. Rumor is you had a hand in the Black Blood Marauder's demise. Oh. I'm impressed. Not only that, but I caused the shipwreck, too. 
<laughs> Not only did I kill them all, but I helped them a little bit too. <laughs> all right, what Let's do you see got? If I can't find an outfit that suits you. Yeah, good luck. All right. Oh. Okay. Wait, can you actually wear the children's clothing? No, right? It's like sorted under. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh, hold up a second. <laughs> all right, over here, college robes. Man, they import that from Winterhold and all that? Oh, they've got Hammerfell garb here, too. Oh, cool. I had no idea. Wow. Jesus, they've got, like, really, they've got, like, everything. What? How? How can this be? Is this, like, the result of a mod or something? Or maybe an update? She just has everything. She even has both colors of blacksmith's aprons. Jesus, I'm like genuinely impressed. Huh. Wow, cool. Okay. I mean, I don't need them, but Jesus, you you got me. You got me. I'm I'm impressed. Finally. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> Take it easy. All right. You know what? I guess we may as well roll up into the What was that? Noise? Karja, what the fuck was that? Karja, what was that? Karja, what was that weird noise? What the hell? It sounded like someone that shuffling around with dangerous. wood. Keep your distance. All right. Careful. Let's head on over. Do you think she'll be pissed as hell if we show up? Okay. You know what? I guess we don't even need to use undead thrall or whatever, right? We could just summon up a couple of temporary dudes, right? And then we'll... That should clear them, you know? Because at first I was worried that we would have to go back <laughs> a third time to the fucking broken ore grotto. But I think we should be able to just cast our stuff and be... be good to go, right? But we need to be careful, right? Isn't some of this considered stealing? I got in trouble earlier. Look, that one, I can't even take it. Put some wizard's defense on it. All right, up in here. Let's equip our cool outfits so that way, you know, when we sashay up in here, they're going to be fucking impressed as hell. Yeah, look at that. I got my power boots and power gloves on. I got my rare gem hat. Oh my gosh. I'm so fucking dope looking. <laughs> <laughs> Look like a fucking clown. <laughs> With these fucking big ass, like, Batman looking gloves. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Head on up here. Good. Oh, LSF, look at me! Oh, look at me! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. <laughs> look at me go! Are you impressed? Check it out! This is the hottest new look from the Radiant Raiment. Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh! Look at me go! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Ugh! Would you mind dousing that magic? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but what do you think of the outfit? Oh, shit. <laughs> she wants to talk a lot. You know what? This is a lot of important political shit, uh, stuff about current affairs going on in Skyrim. But Elisif, let's cut to the chase. Do you like my outfit? <laughs> it's quite fetching, actually. The craftsmanship is excellent. Fetching? <laughs> Elisif, where I come from, that's a fucking insult! <laughs> I throw her out the window. Now I'm the High King! <laughs> it was made by Radiant Raymond. <laughs> it's funny you should ask. <laughs> oh, really? Well, you can tell them that I will be putting in a request for a few dresses quite soon. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Hook, line, and sinker. Okay. Yeah, we didn't even do the wolf skull cave thing yet. Yeah, what's her butt was just getting ahead of herself. Be well. I thought so. Because isn't that the shit with uh, Patema? Pray for solitude and my husband. All right. Yeah, look, Alice, if I love the outfit so much, I, <laughs> I took it off immediately after showing it to you. <laughs> All right just undress and put on my my armor it takes like 15 minutes right <laughs> oh good lord maybe Carjo helps right or you, wizard's magic right yeah wizard's magic easy we use like telekinesis to help put our armor on and all that it's easy as hell that's how we're able to change Wait, out clothes so quickly I know you. <laughs> all right get all the buckles done up with 
telekinesis strapped, all that stuff. Get the gambeson on. <laughs> What's some other words that I can say to, that it's like, oh, yes, look, I know a little thing or two about this. <laughs> yeah, I've seen a little bit of Kingdom Come Deliverance, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, the gambeson, you know? You put the gambeson on first, so it doesn't chafe you or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I don't know anything. Alright. Whoa! That spell looks dangerous. I mean, keep Where your the distance. fuck am I? Oh, what? You both work here? Okay. And Dari. You really should be more careful with the spells you cast. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's not even you Finally. I need to talk to, is it? Oh shit, where did she go? Hey. Unless we have specific business, I'm not interested. Wait, who are you, dude? When I was a young rascal, I broke a man's arm with a single punch. Of course, I had a horseshoe hidden in my glove. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know, you psycho. Alright, I'd like you to forgive Octave's debts? Whoever this is, will you do it? Debts are debts. Either he pays them, or his kind do. Okay. He's an old man, let it go. What if I pay it? Lay off the old man now. Fine, forget I asked. I don't even know who Octave is. And what the debt was even for. You know what? I'll pay it. F it. You know what? Let's let's roleplay. I'm paying it. Works for me. Tell Octave the debt's settled. Keep your sword arm strong. I got money burning a hole in my fucking pocket. Let's see, should I talk to you, that maybe? Spell looks dangerous. We keep your distance. No, nothing. Okay. Let's track. Let's see here. Where is Octave? Octiev? I have no idea. <laughs> we'll speak okay. Let's see over here. Need something? All right. Wait, I know you. Oh shit! I shouldn't have tracked both of them. There we go. Okay, you're over here. Very well. Maybe she was like eagerly awaiting my. Oh. You're out here cutting lumber up and shit? Damn, look you at you, really Terry. Should be more careful with the spells you I know, I know, I'm sorry. Okay. Hey, Ellis have loved the outfit. She'll be placing an order soon. That's wonderful. You've done us a great service. As promised, the outfit is yours. And here's something for your trouble. Oh my god, 750 quatloos. Holy shit. That's pretty good early game, huh? Does that even scale with your level or do you always get 750? My god. Here, what if I put on the outfit? Will she say the same shit? Radiant Raymond fine clothes. Remember Radiant Raymond when you need a change of attire. What's wrong with my outfit? Nothing at all. It's very- Okay. We could fix you right up. It would be funny mm -hmm. if she'd be like, Oh, well, nothing at all, Mr. Lyle Schnub. I can see you're wearing your Radiant Raymond attire today. You looked very ravishing and dandy and beautiful today. <laughs> Here, have another hundred gold just for wearing it around. Would you mind if I stitch our shop's name right into your butt? That way when everyone's looking, they're like, Oh, that's where I'll go to buy. <laughs> All right, let's track down this Octiev dude real quick. There we go. Tell Octiev that Ernskar is taken care of. Can you kill him? <laughs> Why does it sound like it's possible to also just kill this man? <laughs> oh, do they run the winking skeever? Was that it? Jeez, I don't even remember. Here we are. Take a look around here. Hey. I trust you know what you're doing with that spell. Oh, it's you! Old man Octiev son. Don't hurt me. I'm not <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe this uh this glitch is a boon, actually, you know? Oh. Oh god. Hey, uh, Ernskar's agreed to forgive your debt. You've done a fine thing for me. You know, I used to be quite a warrior in my day. Let me show you a thing or two. Oh. You should speak to my daughter, Yvette. She's the brains of the family. Okay. What did you teach me? Would he have, like, taught me one-handed or something? I'm already capped out? Perhaps so. Do you have anything- do you- are you a follower? Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you oh, pass. Oh, God. Don't hurt me. Octave, you would have been an amazing follower. Look at him. With his, like, fucking me. facial hair and his, like, Get crown of power. Me. Dude, he would have been perfect. 
Good lord. This is an ode to he would have been like staunch an Ilya tier follower. Alright. <laughs> okay, let's head on out. That way we don't have all that going on while we're closing out. Alright. When next we come back, maybe we'll look up uh, the Rogvir dilemma, right? I don't know. Who can say? We definitely need to somehow sort out the uh, undeath problem. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that if we just resurrect a couple of random things, even if they're like animals using the non-dead thrall spells, we should be A-OK, -okay, right? I think so. Fingers crossed. Worst case, we gotta go all the way back again to Broken Ore Grotto, right? And then just kill them ourselves. Okay, well, until next time, please take care of each other.